It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just let the pain go, Vicky. Let the pain go. Let it go. Small world, huh, man? What's up, boy? How you doing? Good. How you doing? Fine. I want to talk to you about something. Hello. Your hypnotist, your hypnotist training. What? You always used to talk about hypnosis. I don't know about too much. Um, I was attacked about 20 minutes ago um, at the AMPM parking lot. You always used to talk about hypnosis. Oh, are yeah. Wait a minute. Are you recalling this? It's a movie and some, some you know, crazy psychedelic trip that you were on sometime. That there was a little leprechaun in it. You know, there's a correlation there and you're figuring it all no, out. No, you talked own. in depth about... Uh, to you. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Man, at talking. your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. It's by a guy in the uh, AMPM parking lot. Okay, uh, do you know him? Yeah, his name is Josh. I'm not sure his last name, but I do know his address. Uh-huh. Well, where are you at right now? I'm at the muffler shop across the street. And uh, where did he go? He left in his car, but I don't know if he's going to come back and look for me. He tried to steal my phone. Are I you on the... Are you... Where are you at right now? Do you have a car? No, I'm homeless. I'm at the muffler shop across the street from AMPM. Okay, and, uh, he, and you know this guy. How do you know him? Um, it's kind of a long story, but he knows my daughter. He's, uh, um, he's an undercover cop, and he was. Uh, it was his job to make sure my daughter lost custody of her son, so he got. He did so a lot. Yeah, he stopped there and beat you up? Uh, he, he tried to attack me. I. At one point, he grabbed me. I fell to the ground. I got inside the AMPM, and he didn't want to come in there, so he he ran back to his truck and he yelled that he was going to kill. You? He grabbed me and pulled me to the ground at what at which is when I scraped my knee. But I I got Did away. He punch you in the face? No. Okay, whatever, man. At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. How easy it was. I remember that conversation. He, he, well, he tried to grab my phone, and when I tried to get away, he jumped out of his car, and he grabbed me from behind, which is what, what I tripped. What uh, Give me your phone, give me your phone. Okay. I have, unfortunately, the 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 phone wasn't taping the moment. So he, where were you at? You're on 10th Street West? Uh, 20th Street West. 20th. And you're at the muffler shop? Yeah, this is, uh, the owner of the muffler shop lets me sleep here. I'm homeless. He's male, white. He's he has a uh, red oh. hair. About he's thirty. He's I think he's thirty-one years old. Uh, and that red hair. Red hair, red beard. I have a videotape of him. The conversation we were having before he tried to grab my phone, but unfortunately, with the touch screen, the moment he started grabbing at me, the phone shut off. So I didn't get the part where he was, you know, threatening me and when he pulled me to the ground. But the cameras at AMPM certainly got that because it all happened right in front of there. Do you think you're trying to take your phone? Or do you think oh, he's absolutely trying to take... What you were trying to do? Uh, both. I'm sure my phone would have been either taken or destroyed if he had gotten his hand on it. He's an undercover cop. He was an undercover cop who was complicit in the rape of my daughter recently. And what was, uh, what was he wearing? I honestly don't remember. Um, the shirt? Yeah, it was a, I can look back at the video when you guys come. I'll show you the video and you'll see what kind of truck he was driving and what kind of shirt he was wearing. What kind of truck? It was a big, some big old, uh, like, Chevy work truck. I, I don't know if it's a Chevy. It's like, a, I think it's American made. I'll have to look back at the video to... to so he left in a, what color truck? Uh, it's like, beige. It's hard to tell at night under the lights. Well, he was right there. Well, I mean, it's like light, light brown, beige, that type of color. Uh, two door, four door. I believe it was a four door, big old truck. And like I said, which way, he, which way did he drive up? Towards his house. I know where he lives. Towards where? Uh, I don't know where that's at. One three five four Jenner Street. Okay, but on the street, did he go north? On? Oh, he headed. He he uh, went east on I. Um. He, he acted like he was going to pull over and start something else, but then he just kept going. Do you like this play number? 
I didn't. I didn't. Like I said, I know, I know where he lives, so I didn't really think about having to get that. Thank you. And then I got away and into the the uh, AM PM, and then he stood there and screamed, "I'm gonna fucking kill you!" And then he got in his truck and left, and then screamed it again as he was driving away. He uh, drugged and raped my daughter, which is the part B of this complaint. September 2014. Here, at that address I gave for him. Yeah, no, they they um, hypno hypnotized her and convinced her that the way she had acted afterwards mm -hmm. meant that the police wouldn't take her seriously. So she should just kind of get over it. He didn't specifically. She. There were three of them, and it's a very long story that I'm not going to give with 13 people behind me in line. Um, but needless to say, this is the first step. So I can call Internal Affairs, and then once that has been started, I can have the California Attorney General begin to actually look into the case because that's really the only way anything's going to get done on that level. I know enough about hypnosis to know that they were laughing hysterically about you being incredibly sick for seven hours. Ah. <laughs> Both times that you got sick, you were unable to use your phone. Like, unable to use it. And when I asked you, when I got a hold of you last night, you said it like, well, I was sick, I couldn't call you. How could I possibly have? You always call me if something's going on. Even if you're puking, you would pick up the phone, you would dial my number, I'm puking a little later, but. You were unable to use the phone for seven hours. At which point I was sitting I outside of people. I just didn't You said you them. couldn't. You told me that you tried to dial your grandma and couldn't do it. And you couldn't call me. Oh my God. Here's what a hypnotic suggestion is. Okay? When you have someone in a hypnosis, you say, You're gonna be very sick. Because you told me you felt like there were like bugs crawling under your skin. You kept trying to yeah, look at this, this is weird. This is a hypnotic suggestion. You're gonna feel so sick you can't dial your phone. <coughs> yeah, speak to someone from Internal Affairs. They don't work here at our station. There's no one from. Uh, can I get a phone number for them? But I mean, they don't work at our station. I thought you had someone on staff over here. No. Um, you have to usually talk to the supervisor first, and then. Okay. Can I take a complaint for him from you? Is there any chance I can speak with the lieutenant? Sure. Thank you. It's about a re uh, police report I tried to file two days ago when I was assaulted, but uh, no one ever came out, and there's a lot more to it. That uh, I'm not going to talk about in the lobby. Today was what Friday, so this was on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday night. Can I search the call by the address? Uh, it was the AMPM at uh, 20th West and I, around 8:30 p.m. Nighttime? Yeah. You heard the call, or were you the one who I came looking for me? They, they found you though, right? No. They, didn't even they never even there? called me. No, I waited for four hours, and then I went to hide at the. Uh, Denny's for the rest of the night because I didn't really feel safe going to sleep knowing, you know, what had happened. Yeah. When you said, did they find me, so you took the call but somebody else was looking for me? Uh, yeah. Sure. Kind of crazy after four hours, then multiple officers come looking for me, huh? <laughs> yeah, we looked for you. Did you? Why don't you just call my phone? I left the number with... 911, why didn't you guys just call me? What's your number? 951. But you went around just driving around looking for someone who fit my description instead of calling my phone? No, they call your phone. No, no one called my phone. Yeah. No, they never bothered calling. I think usually they do. Usually they, uh, yeah, usually. They call. Usually they try giving you a phone call. You'd think it'd be a lot easier than yeah. just driving around looking for me. There was a show put on for John when he got home that night. They talked about it. I heard Josh and John talk about it. I have videotape of the old guy next door saying he wishes he was at the hot show. If you don't remember it, sweetie, then something's going on, and I'm, that's why I'm scared. They, would you like to watch the video of the old guy saying he wished he saw the show? And you don't remember anything happening when John getting home other than him asking for sex, and you say no. Be an angry job, though. 
I'm fucking with my fucking home movies, dude. You gotta, you gotta I, I only got to drive four hours to get there. I got three tickets for life. Mm -hmm. For what? For boobies? No, Where? Oh. tickets, man. Tickets to what? For what? And popcorn. You have to drive four hours for it? Tell about me. Right, you and I have known each other a long time. All parts of your personality know you can trust me. Hypnosis is about getting parts of your personality to shut off and getting one to do what the hypnosis person says. So, you all know that you can trust me. And whatever they're doing to you, sweetie, I'm sorry. like a crime scene. <sighs> she threw up and yelled and screamed all night. Again. The guys that did this to her, the gang of motherfuckers who did this to her, it was Josh, John, Johnny who raped her, it's recording? Okay. Um, I used to go out with a guy named John previous, before coming into this house with Johnny. And one night, when we, we all used to sleep in the living room, and there was a girl named Heather. I don't think she was there that day. But I slept beside him, I think because Heather was in, was there but she left you slept beside John or John? I slept beside Johnny Johnny what John was nowhere near around that house I hadn't seen him for a while so so I was sleeping next to him and in the middle of the night he started he was humping and grinding a little bit on me and, and my pants came down his dick went in and I said oh John thinking it was John and it wasn't, by the time I figured this out was when I realized because he was going down on me and there were two teeth missing in the front of his fucking face. That was it. So you thought it was John who you were dating, but it was really it was, John. I, yep, I thought it was John and it was, found out later it was Johnny. And even when I found out later, I confronted him later even too and said, I can't believe that was you, dude. And you should have knew better because I said John, not Johnny. On Wednesday, I was assaulted. Okay. Um, in front of about six cameras at the uh, AM PM at 20th. The man who assaulted me um, drugged and raped my daughter in the month of September 2014, so last September. Him and two other guys repeatedly for a good two months drugged and raped her. Now, the problem, and here's where it gets very complicated, is that the three of them are, I'm assuming, DEA agents by the amount of drugs that they are involved in. Possibly FBI agents, I'm not sure which it is. E either way, I need now to file a charge against him for attacking me two days ago. Who is this guy? His name is Josh. I have video of him right before he attacked me, so there's no question what he looks like. Um, I contacted the California Attorney General and uh, their office let me know to begin their investigation of what has been nine years of police harassment of me and my daughter. To begin that case, she's living with another, with another agent right now in a different city. What kind of agent? I wish, we're gonna find out, quite frankly, because- speak to her? Yeah, I speak to her, but she believes his cover story. Did she ever go to the police and say and, and uh, file a report that she was raped? For the rape, they hypnotized her and talked her out of it. Now that's, yes, I have one of the things that I'm going to submit as part of this police report is copious video I have of them and of her discussions with her about them hypnotizing her. You haven't gone to LA yet. You know, I've been waiting for three days. You keep saying you're on your way to come say goodbye to me for three days, dude. I've been waiting by the train station for like three days. My screen keeps this thing is working. Is there a reason you just kind of left me stranded for three days? Mm, I mean, just saying. It's working. 
What are you on, dude? I don't know. I don't want Makes me like I'm crying. Yeah. Oh, God. You're you're okay. No, I just want to make sure you're okay. Well, did they? I'm not even here. I haven't been here. His windows are open in his car and it's parked out front. He can't up and gone. No, he leaves like that all the time. When he gets picked up for work. I actually has a new red, red one that he parked right up front. Yeah, it's still there. No one's there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unless he got picked up by his worker. He gets that all the time, too. Yeah. Where's John? I'm back. John? He's gone for the week. Yeah. Me too. Oh, shit. What does this mean? Why was somebody doing that? Yeah, he was doing that to you. Because you... No, he was doing that to you. I don't know. He was giving you a signal. I don't know. You know my uncle Brian, the magician. He's the only person I've ever met who talks about hypnosis as much as these guys do. That knows what? Talks about hypnosis as intimately as these guys do. They are very skilled in hypnosis. And they talk about it like that, like he does, because he's skilled in hypnosis. Oh. Should be careful. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but what them, you being that sick and then walking into the room and all of a sudden you were better, and they're like, she's better. Like they had done that. If they had given you a post hypnotic suggestion to be sick and then to, at a certain signal, unbe sick, that is exactly why you, would, you were like, boom, I'm better. Oh. And I'm, I'm going to explain it to the morning nurse, but I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on. She, were you there when she came in screaming? Yes, today. Okay, so when she wakes up from where she, she, you have her sedated now, of course. When she wakes up from that, she's going to be fine. And she's going to be asking for a cigarette and saying she wants to get out of there. Because she doesn't have a medical problem, she, there's a gang of five guys who have been hypnotizing her. And with a post-hypnotic suggestion, they have get her to think there's something in her stomach she has to throw up. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. So... Are they bringing her food or should we can we go get food? Oh, they're going to bring her. Okay. I don't believe that, so I'm going to go get the cafeteria food because I've been waiting for a good minute. Can she go get some? Or yeah. I mean, really. Just, no, that, you that can, that uh, Zofran's you making can, her hungry. You can go, but the patient can't really okay. go out of the unit. Case, patients can't go walking into no. the So I'll call you and tell you what they have there. That's some ridiculous shit, man. No. I still know I'm still I know, but you can roam the whole well then let me have a security guard come with me. I don't get it. I'm honestly, uh, I've been having the worst service here ever. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. So if you, if she seems fine, say mamas. Mamas is the personality they switch her into so they can, so she gets sick. Now I've been dealing with this a year ago, this happened over and over again, and it stopped. And all of a sudden, the boyfriend, who's part of this gang, called her mamas again two days ago. She gets off the phone with him, and she started throwing up. And she basically hasn't stopped until she comes out of it. They, you, you, same thing happened at the other hospital down the street. We went in. They, she was screaming like a lunatic, throwing up all over everything. They sedated her. She woke up. She was fine. She wanted to leave. So I'm telling you, there's a psychological thing going on here, and... I can show you the pictures of the throwing up and the screaming and yelling all night long, but this, something needs, you can't just release her. Something needs to be investigated here because, well, do you have a psychologist on staff? 
Okay. Now she has multiple personalities, yeah, so they so manipulate. So the 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 the, the dark side personality does things for them. Where else, and then what do you know about Josh? You know who the person is that's called? Um, he claims to be a, a some sort of a contractor. He does uh, like construction work. Where are they going to find him? At? I would assume at his house. Did I, the deputies come out and talk to you once already? I would have hoped they would, but nobody did. I so waited there for four hours, and then I went to Denny's, figuring they'd call me. I didn't figure it was a nine one one call to say now I'm at. Denny's. I figured when the officers eventually started looking for me, they'd call the number and I'd tell them I was at Denny's, but no one ever called. Well, I have a, a call here that says the deputies came out and talked to you and you gave them the story about Josh. Josh. They came out to talk to me? Yeah. No, no one came out to talk we to me. You were attacked by Josh, a 30 year old male with red hair and a red beard? Yes. And he has a beige truck? Yes. That's that's what I gave him on, on the phone, but no one ever came out to take the actual report. Where were you at? I waited at the muffler shop across the street for four hours, and then I went to Denny's. Okay. And so, how am I going to locate Josh? Where is, do you know where Josh works at? Uh, I have his his address. I gave to the the nine one one caller. Is it not there in the list? I can look it up on my phone again. I know the house, so I. Yeah. What was it? Uh, hold on. Well, they just need to to get her out of that personality. There's there's she has, she has multiple person. She may say bi uh, bipolar, but that's just what her mother's shorthand for was my uncle's bipolar. Victoria is not bipolar. She has multiple personality disorders. She has six personalities. And these guys manipulated, Mama's is the name of our dead cat. And they manipulated her to think she has a new personality called Mama's. And when they call her Mama's and she switches into that, she yells and screams and throws up for hours on end. did this to you just like he did last time snap the fuck out of it whatever he said make it stop he said something to you on the phone you've been sick ever since he did this a year ago too dude i got it all on tape you have to snap into the another personality or it won't stop i mean you know, we did a ct scan of rebellion and it looks okay but the issue you think is that she's just under the influence of well, and, and you know what? I, I, she's calling me right now. Um, can, can I answer her? Can, I don't want to put you on hold, but she's probably freaking out. Is she awake now? Apparently. Uh, yes, she is. I can see her. She's up in bed. Yeah, she's. Let me. Let me. You can talk to no, her. No, she. I, I'll call her back. I'll call her back. Um. So, so I don't know what to do because if you tell her I said that, she's gonna flip out and start yelling and screaming about me. But I, I, I mean, it's gonna. We'll see you. She'll see you again tomorrow. Is what I'm saying because this has happened over and over again. I don't. Well, I mean, is there a way we could get her to see someone even for mental health care? I mean, not just in the hospital, but going forward. I mean, they, well, they that would, that would be great. But she's not going to do it based on me saying this. That's why while she's in there, if you have someone who could put her under hypnosis and ask her what's going on, this will all come out. I and mean, this is a gang up. They didn't just hit. They yeah. drugged her with dust off. I have videotape footage of her being all drugged out on dust off, and they manipulate her personalities. You, I, why didn't you tell him no? I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John. You didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't doing. tell Johnny no because I thought it was John. Okay. I spoke to Lieutenant Fender. Hmm. He said document the incident which you've done. He's going to contact the Detective Bureau for follow-up. Yeah, I figured. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. We don't know yet for sure. I know. But, but I like the, I'm taking your suggestion. Please, I just need to be honest with you because I love you and I'm scared with you being here because they laughed way too much about you being sick. No one laughs that much about someone being that sick. So be careful. And I love you. Love you too. They used this creepy image to terrify her and control her. It was sitting right next to the television, and she was petrified of it. Yeah, I understand. Okay. That's not, okay. All right. And they'd often plant false memories to start a fight. I'll be over there. So what happened? He doesn't want you going over there. Because I guess that one time that you were yelling and running around with a car. Yelling? Yeah, I think I do remember that.
because I remember too thinking, God, watch, you're going to make problems for me where I go where and kick it, and, and you did. But at least you didn't make problems for me, but you made problems for yourself, or you can't go there now. I told you, personally, I remember telling you you're going to do this. I remember this. Vicky, so I was like, hey, I Vicky, don't blame you. you've made, just calm down, okay? I don't want to go there. Okay? I don't want to go to the fucking orgy house of fucking video game playing where you want me to deliver you your food and expect me to fucking just show up and car right, carry yeah, all my shit. No so you fucking no get problems. off my fucking nuts about something that I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. Fuck, man. Oh, I'm tired of the same shit. Barely know people and you fucking throw me under the bus when they fucking say boo. Mm. <laughs> Every time, dude. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I don't like being a record, broken record player, so I'm not going to say what I like to say over and over. What, that you made a phone call to Josh and now we're fighting when we were just fine before? Wait, you make every, you make, you think everyone in my life and I, that I meet as a friend is a cop, so you create problems, so what the fuck do I say? What, what am I supposed to do, dude? Honestly, I... I am to respect my friends. You make problems. So honestly, what problems I'm did take... I make? There was nothing Whatever. under your house. Dude. I was just at the house. When was there a problem? I was in there making guacamole yesterday. Are you acting right now? No, but I was making guacamole. What oh, happened since no, yesterday, okay. Victoria? I gotta go, sir. Yeah, because nothing happened that you remember that nothing I'm never really happened. Really oh my god, dude. Whatever. Huh? Joy, right. fucking your hypnosis, dude. Thank you.